yes, I know the day's Sunday, but uh, I took on a job for the day, guys. I couldn't pass up this easy money. What I'm talking about is I'm going to my buddy's house. He got an oil leak, a bad oil leak. He want me to do his cooler. I don't know what kind of part he got, but I'm about to find out. That's the van right there. Let's get him. Yeah, let's find out. Oh, oh, what in the world? Oh, my goodness. What's the name on this? Aluminum engine of a top, top 10 racing. Let's see, is this, I thought it was, oh, it's aluminum, but it's not even Dermot. Wait a minute. This is not a Dermot. Dermot, they cloning y'all stuff, man. Look, it feels sturdy. Wow, look at it. It's cute. Oh, it's all aluminum-y. Okay, all right, what else we got? We got a filter right here. Uh, oh, we got boats right here. Oh, good. Okay, I need boats. Love boats. Intake. Uh, seals upper and lower. Well, guys, ain't no sense complaining, crying about it. It's not a Dermot. All right, I'm kind of happy but i'm sad at the same i would much rather it been a mopar all right oem mopar but you want to go with this one let's get it all right guys real quick i'm at my buddy's house y'all saw this shorts video i put it uh, on top of this video i still got this old car i'm not able to do this one i can however do this one <laughs> yeah uh he got a bad old leak y'all remember the last conversation we had uh i forgot a few things guys but i'm gonna try to get through this without uh the tools that I need. I got some of the tools. I brought some tools from work. Uh, here's the oil cooler he got me. Uh, again, like I said, we talked about this on the shorts. I can't make out that name because it's a piece of, it's some paper on there, okay? But, however, it's all aluminum. Alright, so the thinking behind this is that uh, because it's all aluminum, it simply won't crack underneath uh, here. Yes, guys, they house this thing on top of the block okay in between the intake manifold and the block and i admit guys it can get a little hot down there now i also admit that the oem mopar oil cooler uh new construction the new build the new revised cooler can withstand that heat okay yeah i know y'all gonna say it's still plastic at the end of the day i mean to each his own i'm one of those guys that believe that that mopar one as far as we talked about this all the time, so I don't want to go regurgitate everything I've already said. Flow rate and all that. I have no idea uh, what this guy, what this part will do. Okay. Now, what turns people on is the mere fact that it's made of aluminum. Look, I even got sensors on him. Now, a lot of people I'm here are saying, uh, don't use the sensors. Use Mopar sensors. Well, the guy didn't get me no Mopar sensors. He got what he got. This is what my customer want. Damn it, this is what my customer going to get. I got the new seals on the bottom of here. Everything look fine, guys. I'm not knocking this part. So because I got an oil filter right here, I'm assuming there's no oil filter in here. So I got to take that off and check that. And guys, I'm outside on the ground, as you can see. So y'all know I'm a firm believer in uh, changing oil on these things after this job is done. Simply because there's a chance that I'm going to mix coolant. Uh mix some coolant is going to get mixed with the oil when i lift up off that coolant oh my goodness and i forgot my sucker i do however i have a portable one i have a portable sucker so uh and some rags just in case it get a little out of hand it hasn't ran in two weeks so maybe everything has drained back to its <laughs> back to where it lived anyway i don't want to bore you out of death oh look at it it's so freaking cute oh Oh, aluminum and everything. Look at the new sensors and it's oh, it even got the little chrome top on it and everything. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. <laughs> but a Mopar would have been better. All right, price difference? I don't know. I don't know what this thing costs. I don't know. This is he told me aluminum. I'm thinking of Dermon. Dermon has a way of distinguishing theirs from others by way of an orange cap. Is what I'm told. All right. So if you see one that don't have an orange cap. It's obviously a counterfeit, I want to say. No, not then think about it, guys. Dermot don't have the patent on aluminum coolers. Anybody can make one of these. Alright? Uh Dermot just have a bigger name than whoever the hell this is. I don't know who this is. Okay, y'all keep thinking I'm a Dermot hater. No, I'm not a Dermot hater. I just rather a Mopar cooler over a Dermot cooler. <laughs> yeah, so it, it to each his own. But my point is, uh this could be just as good as a Dermony. <laughs> Let me shut up, man. I got work to do. All right, we're going to start off. Remember when I say get the battery disconnected? Let me get this intake off. Air cooler, airplane. Guys, I'm not going to be here all day, so I'm fairly quick at this. I'm so quick at this. 
uh, I might not even be able to get y'all no footage. Uh, next time y'all see me, I'll be down there, okay? Y'all know the drill on taking an intake off. I'm not going. This is not a tutorial on how to replace a cooler. This is just merely me filming what I'm doing. How's that? So please don't. Hey, you didn't show this. You didn't show that. Y'all go check out Uncle Mark. Y'all want some good tutorial videos. Go holler at my man, Uncle Mark DIY channel. Oh, that guy get precise. And you need a 916 to take this off right here. <laughs> yeah, Uncle Mark real wicked with it. I, I just, I'm not there. I can't. I don't, I'm not cut out for tutorial videos. Okay, so all my videos are merely me doing a job, hoping you can catch on with what I'm doing. I understand some of my audience are DIYers and newcomers. So I apologize, guys. I'm just not cut out for precise tutorial videos. All right, but there are others out there that do. And my man, Uncle Mark, is one of them. So go check his channel out. In fact, right here, a car going to be right there to go. Look at this channel. He got a lot of uh, Mopar stuff over there, too. Um, all right. I got work to do. Stay tuned. Oh, alrighty, guys. About to put this bad boy to work. I see it. All right. Uh, I got that in down now. I'm going to pump this. We're going to go into this because I don't have a bottle. All right, let's see what happens. Harbor Freight came through for you, boy. Oh, I filled it up, guys. Alrighty, guys. Y'all see my little Harbor Freight tool in action? Yes, it done its job. It does its job. Now I got to go empty that and uh, uh, pump up a fresh new batch. All right? So, guys, let me finish this all cooler job. I just wanted to showcase my little Harbor Freight creation. All right, stay tuned for more. Hey, all right, guys. Good news. My man going to the store to get five quarts of oil. And a, uh, he don't need an oil filter because I got one with the new cooler. The thinking behind that is, guys, I do not want him to start this car. All that coolant went straight to the oil uh pan in some cases straight to the oil pan okay so the minute we crank this car up uh, all that stuff's going to circulate throughout the lubrication system okay i mean you could start it might look like you got a blown head gasket but you don't you really don't want no form of water uh you know running through your oiling system guys that's bad all right so i convinced him to go he's gonna change the oil right here guys he said he changes oil anyway but on his own so i guess he got a couple of lifts the oil change is real easy uh, draining the oil is real easy because that's all you got to do on this remember the filter is up top okay so i'm gonna load all this stuff up getting ready to put this uh it's not a dermin guys not a dermin don't get me wrong i don't know what it is but it's not a dermin <laughs> all right so yeah that's as clean as i can get that i gotta i got some brake clean i'm uh, uh brushing it up a little bit more okay normally y'all know me when i do these i go straight to the detail department steam clean my engines yeah i take pride in my work but I'm outside, okay? I'm acting as a mobile mechanic. In fact, I feel like a simplify mechanic. Y'all know my dude, uh, the crazy dude on YouTube to do those, uh, he's a mobile mechanic. That dude be all over the place, knocking jobs out left and right. My guy, what's up? Shout out, hey, right here, man. That's my dude, all right? Check him out. But anyway, he's a mobile mechanic. That's what I feel like right now. I'm not a mobile mechanic. This is a friend of mine, all right? I don't make it a habit of Y'all want some mobile work? Call it. Call that dude. Simplified mechanic. I don't know what state he in, what country he in, or what. But he one cool dude. All right, guys. I where we at? He going to get the oil, so I plan on being done by the time he get back. I'm not going to start this until he changed the oil. All right. Let me get this thing on lube. Lube up there. Remember what I told y'all? No RTV. Stick a little lube. I mean, it could be engine oil. As long as you lube this up right here, because this is the part that slides down into here. All right, and you want a clean, nice slide down. You don't want to go in that hole dry. Trust me, that don't feel good. Uh, stop, JT. Today's Sunday. Well, anyway, I'm gonna lube this up, get this on, torque it down the specs. Remember, I think I got some new bolts. Yeah, yeah, guys. All right, and I got a new filter. All right, so I got to take that off. I hope I brought my socket this size to get that off we're gonna make it do what it do all right guys let me finish this up stay tuned Alrighty, guys look at it ain't she pretty look at the little cute little dermin 
Copycat Dermon clone oil cooler. Look at it, guys. All aluminum. <laughs> Even the damn cap. Wait a minute. Okay. Uh, yeah, guys. I got it installed. Uh, like I say, it's no more difficult than it is doing any other one, even the plastic one. Guys, I'm going to tell you something. What I noticed taking this off, this is the old one, right? It's leaking a lot of oil. Guys, I'm going to tell you something. I personally put this on, right, the last time. I'm the one that did it, right? So in the in the midst of taking it off, I'm wondering, I'm thinking to myself, who the hell did put this on and then torque these boats down? No, guys, I'm not reckless like that. When I put these on, I took them down to specs. But anyway, they came off so freaking easy. I, no effort at all. Normally, I put my socket on there and jerk it to break it before I put my, you know, before I spin the, the wheel. Uh, guys, no, I just set the socket on there, barely moved. I just turned it and just started moving. You know what that means? I lost my torqueness i lost the tightness of this being clamped down to the block simply because in my opinion it's all my opinion these seals get so crushed so compressed to where there's no resistance between the block and the cooler at that point so in essence the plastic cooler is touching the freaking block right that block can got a potential to get extremely hot when that happens yeah that's when you can easily melt this so guys the seals matters, okay? Yes, I don't give a damn if this cooler, this Dermon fake ass wannabe cooler uh, is made of aluminum gold. I don't care if it's made of gold. If these seals are not, because think about it, even if this is aluminum, if the seals on this come out like this, or let's say two months from now, they slowly compress to the point where they're not sealing anymore, it started leaking. You're going to dog out whoever the hell this company is, right? That piece of junk, I should have got Dermot. No, you shouldn't have got Dermot. You should have got Mopar because Mopar make the better seals. Here's my point. Um, if these seals get compressed to the point where this is touching the block, just like this one, uh, it would eventually warp. Okay, guys, heat attached to or a heated item or a hot item attached to anything would cause that anything to reform or deform or make it not normal like it used to be this is aluminum it may warp okay this is plastic it may melt in fact it will melt okay so the magic or the secret or what you can get out of this is yeah this thing look i mean this is so flat to where this had no cho no choice but to ride on the um uh, now you one could argue well why don't you just probably if you talked it down you would have been all fine you would have been fine no because at that point all you're doing is compressing this plastic tighter up against the block it just has to be replaced and you don't want to chance this you don't want to take this off go in with new seals no at that point this is already a gamble you've gambled with this and you're probably going to lose and it's not worth it at that point so yeah hopefully the seals on this one will stand the test of time all right yeah because i know I have yet to do or redo a Mopar cooler. The one that been, the ones that been revised. I know y'all gonna say the one you took off of it was a Mopar, but that wasn't revised, guys. Stop being a clown. All right, don't don't do that. Don't show your ignorance. Ignorance. Yeah, y'all know what I mean. You can't argue me taking something off that was put on back in twenty freaking eleven. This engine showed up in twenty eleven. All the coolers on those are not the same as the cooler we're putting on now. They've been revised, so stop arguing with me about the one you took off was Mopar. <laughs> that's when I go into JT, that's when I go into crazy mode and start, yeah, I got to control myself better. But anyway, that's my point. All That's all I want to leave you with. These are so flat to the point where this will start touching the block. And these are not tight at all. I could have, I promise you guys, I could have did this. If I had forgot my set, my two... I could have essentially went out there and just did this. <laughs> That's how loose they was. Yeah, you lose all your torqueness, and I know good and damn well, like I said, I torqued this. Anyway, I'm done. I'm talking too much. Well, we've had it with this so long. Uh, this is not Mopar. Don't blame this on Mopar. I don't know who the hell this is. He keep going on eBay getting this garbage. Uh, that's not, hey, man, look. Hey, I, I get it, guys. Mopar is a little bit more expensive. I get it. I, I just be talking a lot of smack, okay? But um, finances, it's finances. Finance, you know, it is what it is. That's going to always affect 
your final outcome decision. Am I done with this? Yeah, I'm done with this box. Okay, I'm going to put the cool on. He back with the oil. So we're about to change the oil. And that'll wrap this up, guys. I want to know who the hell. <laughs> All right, I couldn't get it off. Anyway, it just says aluminum engine oil filter housing. Okay, made by Top 10 Racing. All right, so I don't want to dog them out. They may be a potential sponsor at some point. I got nothing to say, nothing bad to say about y'all top 10 racing. I'll put y'all cool on, all right? We're going to see how it go. I'm sure I'll hear back from them if we see any kind of leaks or anything like that. Guys, I got to wrap this up. I've been talking too long. Y'all know I hate these long videos. The rest is easy, guys. Clean up a little bit more. Get these seals transferred. Put the top end back on. Change the oil. And then I'm done, all right? How about that? I'll see y'all. This may air tonight. I'm not sure. But a live stream, we live stream on Sunday, so today is Sunday, so I'll see y'all tonight. I don't know if this video is going to make it before the live stream, but I'll see y'all uh, tonight. Stay tuned, man. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> y'all just don't know, man. <laughs> I appreciate y'all watching these damn videos. I'm out. Gotta go.